Norwegian filmmaker faces up to three years in prison for the high crime of saying men cannot be lesbians. How cute, believing you got free speech in Europe. Tanya Gievion is a, fil- is a lesbian filmmaker who intentionally made the comment to criticize Norway's hate speech laws. Hey, and, and this, this is good because now that women are on the receiving end of some of this bullshit, it might actually get changed. Because no one cares when it's just men, but when uh, w- when women suffer from this shit, that's when shit gets done. Like, no joke. All right, so a Waymans in Norway is facing up to three years in prison for a cr- on criminal hate speech charges after saying that a man cannot become a lesbian. Now, this is going to be the future of the U.S. as well if we don't get back on track. And this is also why I tell you, don't be social on social media. Just d- don't even talk to these lunatics. Just block them. All right, this uh, name I can't pronounce, a lesbian filmmaker and actress was informed on November 17th that she was under investigation for speaking out against prominent Norwegian activist Christine Jentoft on Facebook. Jentoft is a transgender female that often refers to herself as a lesbian mother. Now, Jentoft previously accused other another women's Christina Ellingson, of transphobia for a similar claim. Ellingson is also under similar investigation and faces uh, three years in jail if found guilty. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Hey, guys, if you're sick and tired of whammons getting preferential treatment, just become a masculine presenting transgender lesbian and you can get them locked up for three years. And the post uh, on uh, McGevion's fake book page on, uh, uh, under investigation read, it's uh, just as impossible for men to become a lesbian as it is for men to become pregnant. Men are men regardless of their sexual fetishes. Gjavjorn has said, has said that she intentionally posted her fake book message to draw attention of Nor- to Norway's hate speech laws. Like Gjavjorn's comments appear under to be under investigation for falling under a current year minus two amendment to the country's penal code that added gender identity and gender expression under protected categories from hate speech. People found guilty of hate speech face a fine or up to a year in prison for private remarks and maximum of three years for public comments. Man, this... Remember when the West was like the shining beacon of, you know, what, what, what the world should aspire to be? Remember that? Those those were the days, man. My women's rights activists, including the Women's Declaration uh, International Norway, of which Ellingson is a representative, have claimed the amendment uh, undermined free speech and expression in the country. Well, unfortunately for you, you don't have free speech and expression. here. At least as bad as the U.S. is... We actually have free speech in our constitution, which is why it's so hard for them to push this hate speech shit here. Like, like private companies can use hate speech as an excuse to um, to ban you, but the government can't criminally charge you for it, at least not to my knowledge. I mean, maybe they've made some exceptions over the years, but uh, it, it's not the case in Europe. Like you have you have no free speech protections. In, in Europe. It, it, it's funny how a lot of Europeans seem to think they do, but no, you don't. You're only allowed to say what the government lets you, although I guess that's no different than here. Uh, our government has proven they couldn't care less about the Constitution, so <laughs> whatever. Now, this is not the first time that Given has spoken out on controversial topics surrounding gender and women's rights. I still maintain that... Um, the transgender movement has done more for men's rights than the MRA has done in, in its entire existence. So while, yes, these hate speech laws are bullshit, I do like seeing men being able to flip the script on women like this. It's so good. Because most of, like, no, not most. Pretty much all these laws were primarily supported by women. Women wanted this. And now they're paying for it. So I, I think this is okay. Right, last year, Gevion confronted Annette uh, Trettenbergstuen, Norway's Minister of Culture and, Re- and Reality. They, they, they have a Minister of Reality? Are you trying to di- dictate what reality is? Uh, claiming that misconstruing gender and any biological sex has harmful and discriminatory implications for women, especially lesbians. Yeah. You know, I would be a lot more sympathetic to what's happening to women right now when they're getting all their spaces destroyed by trans women. If it wasn't for the fact that these same women spent the past like decades destroying all of our spaces. So, (laughs) I mean, sorry, but not sorry, man. 
Now, will the equality minister take action to ensure lesbian women's human rights are safeguarded by making it clear that there are no lesbians with penises, that males cannot be lesbians regardless of gender identity, and tidying up the mess of the harmful gender policies left behind by the previous government? Wow, such transphobia. No wonder she's getting arrested. I do not share an understanding of reality where only two biological sexes are to be understood as sex. Gender identity is also important. <laughs> Uh, the first discrimination charge in Norway that centered on gender identity was filed in current year minus four. The char that char that case centered on a transgender women who complained that she was asked not to shower in the women's locker room at a sports center, according to female-led news organization Redux. Who could have predicted that that, that would be a bathroom issue, huh? Similar cases have cropped up across Europe, including Finland, where a religious uh, freedom case uh, saw tensions rise between free speech and alphabet soup advocates. In March, uh, Finnish me member of parliament, uh, Paivi Rasanen, and, and Lutheran bishop, uh, no, Juhana Polja, were acquitted of all charges in their case. Rasan faced uh, three charges of ethnic agitation for a, wow, current year minus 18 pamphlet, for taking part in a discussion on a radio show in current year minus three, and more recently tweeting pics of the Bible. Yeah, what a high crime that is. Oh, my God. If they went back and tried to charge her with something for that she did 18 years ago, you'd know they're desperate. In the Korean Romans 3 twat, uh, Rasanen questioned her church's sponsorship of an Albert Sue Pride event and linked it to an Instagram post, a picture of Romans uh, 124 27. It's called Same Sex Intercourse Shameful. Po Pojola faced one uh, count of ethnic agitation for hosting a pamphlet uh, written by Rasanen on his church's uh, website, similarly critical of gay men and women. Yeah, well, you know what they say, right? If you um, you want to know who rules over you, just look at who you can't criticize. As Kanye just learned, uh, Norway is considered one of the most liberal countries in Europe. <laughs> liberal. Yeah, th this is liberal right here. Thought policing is liberal. Yeah, even allowing people to legally change their gender without the need of a medical diagnosis. Oh, oh, dude, I'd be all for this, by the way. Shit, man, bring that to the U.S. so I could legally change my gender to female and get all the preferential treatment. Fuck yeah.